Right. So I've restarted the game. I've re restarted the game. Um. Let's let's count the Mongols who like us, okay? Let's count them together. One. Two. Three. Four. We are at four currently. Four Mongols who like us. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Now let's unpause the game and watch one of them count. And we have no idea which one counts. Also, okay, now it says at least completed again. I don't understand. We're a Mongol. Would you like to like us? Yes, you would. Does he count? Yes, he counts. This is annoying. <laughs> Are you Mongol? Yes. Would you like to like us? Yes, you would. Do you count though? Yes. No, he d this one doesn't count again. Okay, maybe children don't count. Are you Mongol? Yes. Would you like to like us? Yes, very much. Thank you very much. Do you count? No, you do not count. Are you Mongol? Yes. Do you want to be our friend? Sure. For a little gift? Why, thank you. Do you count, though? No, you can't count. What is this? Why? Hey, you're a Mongol. Why can't I give you money? Too distant, okay. You're a Mongol. Would you like to like us? Yes. Question is, do you count? No, you do not count either. You're a Mongol. Would you like to like us? Sure. Oh, you're costly. You better count for that money. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't count. Uh, who's your liege lord? This guy. Probably too far away for us to interact with him. Oh no, he's not. Who's your liege lord? This guy who likes us. And his vassals like us. But they don't count. You have a court. Does anyone in the court want to like us? Who is a Mongol? This man, maybe. Oh, he likes us well. Does it count? No, it does not. Have good relations with Mongols. 60 plus opinion. Rulers? We have. Their vassals, we have, and their courtiers with Mongol culture count. Culture. Mongol. Culture. Mongol. Culture. Mongol. Let's see, maybe there's a more Mongol culture than Mongol. Oh, it's all Mongol Altaic. Deep breath. Deep breath. 
Go, Mongo. Would you like to like us? Sure, he said. You seem like a nice person. Thank you for your generous gift. I like receiving generous gifts, he said. I am a Mongol. I deserve this gift. If not for anything else, but for the great and powerful heritage that I have. What is this? How many more Mongols am I supposed to get on our side? Does he count? He's a pretty big ruler. There we go, we finally done it. We only had to bribe around a 50% of the whole of Mongolia to achieve it. And we have spent a lot of time on this and reflecting on it. Uh, Queen Keran of Armenia is definitely my favorite so far. But let's look at our family tree and reminisce a little bit. King Avak did not rule for very long. He ruled just long enough to ensure that his daughter would be able to succeed him. And as we go further back, our grandfather, he didn't even get to rule. He died because before he was eligible to inherit, our grandmother was still on the throne. And here she is, Queen Smukt the Young, who ruled quite prosperously and quite long. And here is King Hetum of Armenia the First, who died very unfortunately as his face was cut off in an, well, more or less legitimate operation that just went really wrong. So here we go. This is our family tree. We have played through three generations and all over Easter weekend to achieve what we wanted to achieve. I think we've done well. We have actually ruled 117 years entirely without being subjected to foreign rule in a land that is more than hostile to us. And as interesting as this ride was, especially in the early, early rounds of this, I am very, very relieved to be finally done with this. I just cannot stand all the stress of constant threat from around us. And I think something becomes really apparent to me, or rather maybe two viewers more than me, because I don't mind it all that much. But there are many ways to approach this game and there are many more intricate options to advance through the world, to grow your realm, to secure alliances, much more than I am using. So someone who has even more experience than is than I in this game will find my approaches lacking. And they might even laugh at it that I struggle so much with certain things. But I play this a little bit like an RPG. So for me, it's trying to make the best out of the hand I've dealt. And I'm not trying to min-max every single little operation available to us. As you see, I don't really make use of societies all that much. I don't make use of the Pope, I don't uh, switch around my religion and culture to achieve certain traits that would allow me to become better. The area we play in, I might have potentially become Turkish to allow me to raid our neighbors, stuff like that. I just never really consider these things because I like it to be a little bit realistic and not just a game of the perfect path. I like this certain element of randomness and chance to it, even though it, as you might have noticed, can frustrate me to no end as well, because it can feel so dauntingly unfair and imbalanced. But taking a look back again right now, we've only once lost territory, and that was in a holy war against someone 
it was absolutely overwhelming in power. And up until then, we have stood our ground. Not just that, we have actually expanded our ground. So I think we did fairly well. And we'll see you on the next Monarch's Journey.